Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies 2. We are in the new world, Jurassic Marsh. Let's get started. So, we have traveled all the way back to the dinosaur ages. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. Humans and dinosaurs never coexisted. Well, it turns out Zomboss actually makes most of the zombies, rather than zombies just biting a human or something. So, he made a bunch of zombies that travel back to, like, mil something million BC, and now they're here. Alright, you gotta love how the cone, if you look closely, the cone head is just like three orange horns tied together. That's funny. Alright, let's go with, well, Sunflower, obviously. Let's go with Repeater, let's cool it off a bit. And Butter, can't go wrong with Butter. Let's go Chili Bean, Cherry Bomb, and Double Cherry Bomb. And then they forced us to take the primal pea shooter. Now, in case I didn't explain it before, it's a pea shooter that shoots a lot slower, but they do a lot more damage and they can stun and even push back the zombies. Like so. Whoa, are these zombies weaker, or do my plants just upgrade it? Did you see that? I killed in like three seconds. Hey, look at that, he's just dead. What in the tarnation? Well, I ain't complaining. And then plant food on the primal pea shooter just makes more shots. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the Primal Pea Shooter. Because so far, the repeaters are way better. I prefer the modern stuff. Oh, wait. Pea, uh, Snow Pea does splash damage? Or not splash damage, but... Apparently, it can freeze more than one zombie now. Well, well, well. Tables have really turned here. Okay, pretty easy first level. But that's to be expected. Um, he's dead. There we go. Well, I mean, if a zombie's head falls off, and no one's around to see it or hear it. Did it actually fall off? Well, my answer is yes. Because in the riddle, it explicitly says that the tree fell. We just didn't see it. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. Like, if I go to a drive through in secret... I mean, besides maybe the employees, is anybody going to know that I ate that cheeseburger? All right. Now, thanks to the extra oxygen, I am more alert. What the heck is that? I'm just kidding. It's a dinosaur. This reminds me of Jurassic Park 4 with, uh, oh, what's his name? Chris Pratt when he was training the Velociraptors. So, yep, we got dinosaurs. Now, dinosaurs do not eat the zombies, nor do they eat the plants. Um, there's going to be more dinosaurs later, but they knock the zombies around with their tails, or these guys just walk around and kick them. But they just kind of kick the zombies all over the place. Now, thankfully... We have a little something called 
Perfume Shroom. Now, it's like the jalapeno. It only affects one lane. But it charms a dinosaur. Basically like a hypno shroom for a dinosaur. And it will actively work against the zombies. And no, the, zo uh, the dinosaurs cannot be damaged by plants. Now, the recharge on the perfume shroom is very slow. Plus, it only gets one lane. So, it's important to have a copy of them using the imitator. All right, other than that, we're going to go repeater, snow pea. A primal potato mine is actually better than its modern counterpart. For just 50 more sun, it comes up out of the ground a lot faster and has the same radius as a cherry bomb. So, yeah, this thing blows potato mine out of the water. And, last but not least... Let's go with squash. Because why not? Why not good old squash? His birth name was actually Tracy, though. Squash is just his stage name. All right, now we can get snow peas out. Spado, that's a spadalp. It's like a more dramatic spadalp. It's like spadalp. Hey, blue. Wee wee. Come on, blue. See, so he just kind of walks around. All right, perfume shroom. You see, he's kicked that zombie closer to me. But now that he's charmed, he will probably either kick them off the screen or just away. Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's charm this one. Oh, yeah, he's kicked him right off the screen. See you later, buddy. See, so, yeah, this world is actually one of the easier ones, despite being one of the last. Because we have the perfume shroom, so it just turns this whole gimmick right around. And there actually aren't that many zombies. They focus mainly on the different types of dinosaurs. Taste my dino mite. Now that's what I call Velosa Power. Ooh, yay, primal potato mine. And we got the perfume shroom. <clears throat> All right, let's move on. Conveyor. Now, this is a premium plant. You got to pay for it. But in this level, they give it to you for free. It's called Grape Shot. It's basically a cherry bomb 
but grapes come off of it and they hit more than one person. Observe. Oop, got a melon. Oop, garlic. All right. Grapes galore. And splotch. It doesn't actually say it's splotch. I just made that up. Because like when you step on a grape, it makes like a squelchy sound. So that's what I was going for. I don't, really, I don't really need the garlic anymore, but it's now it's like taking up space on the conveyor belt. And I think the more plants you have, the slower the belt goes. So I'm just going to dig that up. Plus, with the dinosaurs, it's not really going to do much. Don't know why I did that. Just a panic. Can we save that lawnmower? Can we do it? What are you guys running away from? The meteor is not here yet. Well, I mean, if I was a dinosaur and I saw a lawnmower, I'd probably freak out. Well, so far, it's not too bad. Like I said, some of these early levels are going to be kind of easy. Easy and breezy. I'm feeling cheesy. All right. All right, what's in store? Okay, we got the zombies. And we got a velociraptor. You know, let's go torch wood instead. Let's kill the zombies faster. Because snow peas cool and all, but then they just kind of stick around. Like, I want these guys gone. All right, obviously we're going to, well, you don't need the perfume shroom, but it really, really helps. So in this world, like, unless you're challenging yourself on purpose, there's really no reason not to bring the perfume shroom. All right. What else do we want here? Definitely going to want the primal potato mine. And durian, I don't say that's pretty good. And spike weed. Let's go with spike weed. Because they're cheap and they can be planted fairly quickly. Do, 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 do. They do move in herds. Hey, now, that's not cool. Supposed to kick him the other way, dingus. Well, here, get charmed. Well, it's too late now. You already kicked him. Nice going. Well, I'm going to have to do that. Oop, got to get the, the perfume shroom. Oh, 
Yep, it's recharging. This is this is no bueno. No, he's too far away. He's too close. Oh, okay, somehow that killed him. Okay. Get him out of here. Yeah, really, once you got a bunch of dinosaurs on your side, you can let them do most of the work. Nice save by Primal Potato Mine. Would you quit kick, kicking him over here? I'm trying to actually win. Boop. All right, I think it's been, don't tell me, it's been, well, it can't tell me and I have no way of knowing. I think it's been almost 20 minutes. So we've got time for a few more levels. And these early ones, we can get through pretty quickly. Because there's not much to them. Except when the dinosaurs decide to be jerks. Alright, and this is pretty much the same level. Now we got Primal Walnuts. So they cost more, they have the same amount of health, but they recharge much, much quicker. Which is actually pretty useful. All right. Hopefully it works better, but once again, I'm going for Torchwoods. All right, get the Endurian. Where is that guy? Endurian. There you are. And we'll also grab... What do we want to grab? What do we wanna... Oh, duh. Well, I wanted two perfume shrooms. One of our slots is taken up by that primal walnut. You know what? Let's get rid of spike weed then. Because we need the double perf the perfume shroom. Not to be confused with the fume shroom. Hang on to your butts. I gotta be a little more diligent this time. And leave a little bit of extra sun aside for perfume shroom. How many times have I said the word perfume shroom? Probably not half as many times as I've... I don't even know where I was going with that. I was going somewhere and then I lost it. Alright, he's charmed. Got a little close there, but I got it under control. It's all part of the show, folks. Don't kick him, don't kick him, don't kick him, don't kick him, don't kick him. All right, now kick him. Thank you. 
Come again. That was a waste of money. Why did I do that? I knew I knew it was gonna get eaten. Nice save. Nice save. Or maybe not. Oh, well. Lost the lawnmower, but we still won. How do we get gold? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. Not even going to say one word. All right, we can keep going at this rate. All right, what are we on? Six? Yeah, six. Better not say six one more time. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope everything's going real well. Hope you didn't burn your lasagna. Oh, we got a new dinosaur. Okay, now I'm no paleontologist, but I think... What's the thing? It's, it's the big guy with the long neck. He's got the spikes on his back. I'm sure someone's going to let me know in the comments. But if I had to take a stab at it... I know it's not a T-Rex. I know that. Okay, Stegosaurus. No, no, no. That's the really long necks. No. Like the the, the, the plump, the fat guys with the spikes. The, they got kind of long necks. Um... Okay, Stegosaurus, final answer. I'm sure I'm wrong, but somebody let me know. Okay. So what they do, unlike the Velociraptors where they walk around, they stay in the front. But they, like, swoosh their tails around. And then they fling them forward. So that's what they do. All right, where's the imitator? There we go. Okay. All right, what else should I bring? All right, I got to think. And I want to... Oh, yeah, this guy. He's good for, like, last-minute situations. When they get past your repeaters, you just quickly plant one of them. Just damage the weaker guys. All right, eat your veggies. Oh, we got one of these guys. Someone there. Did that get him? Did that miss? Oh, no, it didn't. So now their tail will just crush them. Yeah, that's one of the most satisfying ways to win a war, is to take their biggest asset and just turn it right against them. Because, like, yeah, ha. This is my, it's my weapon now. And we're already done with the level. Oop, that guy's not charmed. We gotta fix that. All right, that was a flawless victory. I don't think we lost one plant. We got close, but we didn't really lose anybody. Okay, one more level, and then I'm going to end it.
Okay. Oh, God, not the flowers. I don't like the flowers. They suck. Although, a little trick here. Sometimes they're, like, on the crack between the squares, and sometimes they're on a square. So now, I can plant things on top of the flowers, and basically they won't get eaten until whatever... Excuse me, got heartburn. Until whatever is on top of them gets eaten. Now, the dinosaurs can walk on the flowers all they want. The, the zombies just can't walk on them. So, yeah, we, we can't let the flowers get trampled. A dinosaur that weighs a gazillion pounds, that's fine, but a little... Because a zombie is basically as much as a human in terms of weight. No, that, that we can't accept that. If a dinosaur stepped on a tree, the tree would not make it. But no flowers. I guess they're just I guess they just let the dinosaurs just like flowers. So they're careful around the flowers. Huh? Oh. Yep. This is why I don't like the flowers. Who planted these there? Because when I plant my plants, I plant them strategically. Who put these way up here? And why is it my problem? And what's going to happen? Is going to like cause some like event? Like we get back to the present after these flowers are destroyed, and we're gonna there's gonna be sloths everywhere, like intelligent sloths. Cut me a break, man. Okay, I think this part is well optimized. We gotta get the wall of walnuts. That was stupid. Okay, now I just gotta be really diligent. Keep an eye on the walnuts. Okay, I'm gonna save the plant food for until one gets really cracked. Or I can just replace it with another one. Primal pea shooters could also be pretty bad because they knock them back towards the danger zone. Here, eat cherry bomb. Okay, you need replacing. And so do you. That one walnut is getting destroyed. Here, take a replacement. I'm getting, I'm getting real nervous here. Take a replacement. You want to take a plant food. You deserve it. Take a replacement. Uh, I'm on the edge of my seat here. Here, I care more about the flowers than I care about the lawnmowers at this point. If they eat that, that's fine. We're on the final wave. Okay, I think we did it. I think we won. Whew. Oh boy, okay. Well, I'm not going to push the envelope anymore. That's where we're going to stop. Sometimes you just got to know when to say when. And I am saying when. When exactly? Right now. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that was entertaining. And there'll be more dinosaurs to come. And I'll see you later.